We are the brothers and sisters from the Garden of Christ Church. We are not a religious group, but yes, we believe in the Bible. We understand that the Bible is the way, the truth, and the light. We understand also that religion has separated us and divided us. We understand that religion is the way to control the people ignorantly, not to come to the most high. There are many gods in this place that are being worshipped in these religions. And we feel that we are serving a true God, but we are not. We call upon different names and say it's the same God. That's a lie. We say it's all one God wants to serve him. That's a lie. My brothers and sisters, Satan is the one who has many names. My brothers and sisters, Satan is the one who is being worshipped in these religions. It's time for us to open the book and read and follow the precepts. All these different religious groups been here since before we were born and then given us no truth. They are showing us who we are. They are not giving us understanding about what is going on. We are always complaining about crime and looking upon minister security. I don't understand because of lawlessness and not following the most high commandments. It's a curse upon our people. All these religions, but not edifying the truth. People say calling themselves Africans. People say calling themselves Trinidadians. When the powers that be who rule this earth know predominantly that we are the Jews. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, we are not affiliated with no other Israelite group. But we understand that we are the Israelites. We don't call upon Yahweh, Jehovah, Yahweh, because we know that means Satan. That means God of mischief, my brothers and sisters. And if anybody wants to find you should come and ask. Jah means God. Hova means mischief. This name they give us called Jesus is not the name of our Lord and Savior. My brothers and sisters, they want no J in the Hebrew language. They want no E. They want no U. It is impossible for the apostles to call him Jesus when there was no J. The letter J was added to the alphabet in the 17th century. And they started to use it in the 16th century. That's not the name of our Savior, my brothers and sisters. Our Savior name is Yeshaya. Not Yahweh Shai, which means Joshua. Let me get the book of Philipp um, Philippians chapter 2 verse 9. We need to understand that the Messiah have a name beyond all names. Not Zeus, not here Zeus. Not Joshua. Not to be praised. Do anybody know anybody named Savior here? Anybody who lives on this earth? Do you know anybody named Savior? Because that's what Christ's purpose is. Christ's purpose is to save his people. It's time for us to wake up. Listen to me. If I feel that name, give all the salvation. When I get a true name, what are you really do for it tonight, brothers and sisters? We need to come back to the more science spirit and truth. Everybody talking about spirit and truth, but still calling upon Jesus. Everybody talking about spirit and truth, but still calling upon Yahweh. Still calling upon Yahweh. But we will prove to you all tonight that these names are Satan. And I wish that anybody could come and ask and we will prove it. My brothers and sisters, Satan say he will be like the most high. Let me Isaiah chapter 14 verse 12. The book of Philippians chapter 2 verse 9. Wherefore the Most High had highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Above what? Above every name. So Christ's name, the Messiah name, is above every name. There ain't no other name. Brothers and sisters, again I will say to you all, there ain't no J in the Hebrew language. When you do your research, it's Jesus. We're not worshiping Jesus. It's time for us to wake up and tell the truth. It's time for us to start passing on the slavery doctrine to our children. It's time for us to do research. We are in the last days. It's time for us to wake up. Verse 10. That at the name of Yeshua, every knee should bow. 
of every knee should bow, of every thing in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yeshua Christ is Lord, is who? Is Lord to the glory of the Most High, the Father. Exactly. So he's talking about he giving praise to the Father, but the Christian churches is teaching us Christ is God. That's that's in madness. He said, I don't know the time that I'm coming back, but my father, but they say that he is God. You understand the crazy and madness we deal with in these Christian churches? They don't have the truth. Listen, we must start at Christianity first, because they represent any book. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, they are following this book. Because of Christianity, the people of the book, they want to go into their own book. The true Jews, the true Israelites, who call themselves Africans and call themselves um, Trinidadians, are the biblical Jews. Because before, we were in West Africa, brothers and sisters. We were from Jerusalem. And we flee from Roman persecution. I went into West Africa. I know that, brothers and sisters. They ain't teaching all of that, and they never will teach you that. Because they need to keep you asleep. But the most I say you are waking us up in these last days. Over and over is the same thing. The singing, the clapping, the jumping, and no edification. What's going on in it? Why are these things happening? Why are your children falling down every day? Do you feel safe that there's a spirit who operating like a boogeyman in the dark? Don't you understand that Satan of our people who are working for him? Don't you understand that Satan is controlling our media, our prime ministers? Don't you know that Satan is in control of all these religions? Every single one. Because the most I never established no religion. He said, keep my commandments and live. He said, believe on my son and get baptized. How long will we sleep? But let me give you a high insight about Satan. Listen, we're so fortunate in these last days that we can go back and read and see what happened to our forefathers. But we take our face out of our own book. This is our history, brothers and sisters. Our history is about the Europeans. The Europeans enslaved us. They separated us. They gave us religions. Matter of fact, they gave us all these holidays that we keep in. Carnival. Christmas, what I love so much. That's paganism by brothers and sisters. That has nothing to do with the God of the Bible. And in the Bible, it's talking against it. Brothers and sisters, let's give you an understanding about Satan and what Satan desires to do. Because Satan needs to be worshipped and he has been worshipped in these religions on this earth. So, brothers and sisters, religions cannot give you salvation. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did it weaken the nations? He weakened who? Who did it weaken the nations? For thou art said, In thy heart I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my hope, my throne above the stars of the Most High. So Satan is saying, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars in heaven. Do you understand what the scripture is saying? I will be like the Most High. What do people do with the Most High? They worship Him. Satan has been worshipped in these Roman Catholic churches. Satan has been worshipped in this Islam mosque. He's been worshipped from Buddhism to Hinduism. Satan has been worshipped, my brothers and sisters. And anybody who wants to stand up for their religion, come and let's stand up. Come, let's talk. I will let only volume on the mic. And we will prove it out of the Bible. Satan needs to be worshipped, and he is being worshipped. 
Verse 13. For thou art said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the size of the north. Verse 14. I will ascend above the heights of the cloud. I will be like the Most High. I will. I will be like the Most High. Satan is being worshipped by his ancestors. My brother, let me get the book of Exodus chapter 3 verse 13. Now, we must show you all the lies. There is a lot to talk about tonight. But we must break the lies. And we start with the names. Because these names come, come with doctrine. And these names come with, with demons. So you must uproot these names. Our Messiah name is not Jesus, brothers and sisters. We don't want to stay long on this topic. But our Messiah name is not Jesus. For those who have no past, and they ain't no J in the Hebrew language. They ain't no E. They ain't no U. That is three letters of the Jesus. The highest pronounced in Jesus. His name is Yeshaya. Yeshaya means in the Hebrew tongue, Savior. Christ's purpose is to save his people. Who people? The people of the house of Israel. The people who went into the cargo slave ship. The people who are being taught that they are the Gentiles. And the people who are claiming to be the Jews are the Gentiles. But I know it will sound foreign to you all. Because this whole construct was built upon lies. But we can prove it. No shadow of a doubt, we can prove it. In the Bible and out of the Bible. We need to know the more sign name, brothers and sisters. Because in the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 1, shows us that my people will have my name in their foreheads. That's why we are showing you all the name. Brothers and sisters, Yahweh means God of mischief. Jehovah, Yahweh, the same thing. Yahweh and Jehovah is the modern version of Yahweh. Yeah, excuse me, Yahweh. Yah is God. Yahweh is mischief, calamity, destruction. That's not our God. That's Satan himself. And we can prove it. Let's show you all the more sign name. The name that you will be saved by. The book of Exodus chapter 3 verse 13. And Moses said unto the Most High, Behold, when I am come into the train of Israel, and shall say unto them, The, the Most High of your fathers hath sent me unto you, and they shall say unto me, What is his name? Is what? What is his name? His title. What is his name? His nickname. What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And the Most High said unto Moses, I am that I am. I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am had sent me unto you. And the Most High, and the Most High said moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord power of your fathers, the power of Abraham, the power of Isaac, the power of Jacob hath sent me unto you. This is my name forever. For what? This is my name forever. Now go change it. This is my name forever. Now go change it to Yahweh. This is my name forever. I will change it to Jehovah. This is my name forever. This is the most high name forever. The, why are you not promoting this name? Because there's power in this name. It's salvation in this name. They won't give you that. They will never give you this. I am that I am in the Hebrew language is a higher, a sure, a higher. These are our words. This is his name forever. So we must proclaim the true name to you all. Because this whole world, you see, there's so much knowledge in this earth. So much different religions. So much so-called wise and prudent. And they're still calling upon Jesus and Yahweh. They still have all indoctrinated with these names. And with these names come spirits, evil spirits, devils. 
and with these names come false doctrines. Because the Bible says, I'm the son of God. Peter asks Christ, Christ asks, asks Peter, who do you think I am? And Christ said, Peter said, you are the son of God. He said, well said Peter. But the Christian churches is teaching you that Christ is God. They don't believe in the Bible. They don't believe in the Bible. They don't believe in the Bible. You're blocking the camera, so. And I'm not taking time with you tonight because we've been here with you already. We ain't going there. If you can read, if you can read the Bible, you will see that he said, I am the first begotten of the Father. I'm not going there with you. I'm wasting no time with you tonight. Use the structure. Go ahead. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, verse 26. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of deceit of their own heart, which think to cause my people to forget my name. To who? Which, cause to, which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor, as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. And that is what going on in this 2017. Baal is Satan. We forgot the most sign name and it's calling upon Satan. How come your pastors can't show you that? How come our historians cannot teach us that we are the biblical Jews? Right? So, where's the wisdom, brothers and sisters? My brothers and sisters, the Holy Spirit is not jumping up and rolling on the ground. That's an unclean spirit. The Holy Spirit is wisdom. The Holy Spirit is knowledge. Right? The Bible says, He that believeth on me, as the scripture says, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But they are teaching you that Christ is God. When Christ himself said, I am the Son of God. And the Bible says, He is the first. Of the Father, but they still say that He is God. So if they cannot, but if they can't even understand that He is the Son of God, what can they teach you? Because they can't even read. The book of Saint John, chapter fourteen, verse twenty-eight. You have heard how I have said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you love me, you will have rejoiced because I said. I go unto the Father. To who? I go unto the Father. To who? I go unto the Father. To who? I go unto the Father. He say he goes to the Father. For my Father is greater than I. The Father is greater than the Son. What does he mean? Right? But we understand that there are demons that are to stop this gospel. And we won't get distracted. We are not going to waste our time with people who can't read. We won't waste our time with that. My brothers and sisters, the true understanding is this, is that we was enslaved for a purpose. We don't came to try it out on our free ways, brothers and sisters. This is the true wisdom, brothers and sisters. So-called Pan-Africanists. Egyptologists, Christians, Islams, illiterate Christians. You know why it's happened to our people? Nothing you can't pray anymore. Don't you know that this is written in the Bible? Yeah, it's in the Bible. Since the time of Moses, it was prophesied. But I know that they ain't teaching none of that. But they can teach only Christ is God. They can't teach only that, right? My brothers and sisters, our forefathers broke the commandments. And the Most High prophesied and said, because we broke the commandments, he will sell us in slave ships as bar men and bar women. And that's why in our community there is so much crime, because we are the biblical Jews. Understand that we have a responsibility to direct and to be a light to this world. So therefore, when we go off course, the whole world goes off course. And the Most High will chastise and punish us to come back to Him. That's why we come out here speaking the truth. 
Yenge yetin içi ötes. Nobody teach no yetes. Man manipulate the system. Right? It's time first to wake up and realize who we are. They know who we are, but we don't know who we are. They are planning at the population program and is the population our people. And our people jumping and clapping like normal in this big fantasy. This hypnosis, this religious hypnosis. If you never start to allow. come to the shoot. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou shalt not hearken unto the voice of the Most High, thy power, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which shall command thee this day, that all these curses shall come unto thee, all these what? All these curses shall come unto thee and overtake thee. So, further up the chapter from verse 1, he bless us if we keep the commandments. But from verse 15, he's saying that if you don't hearken and keep my commandments, all these curses shall come upon our people. Brothers and sisters, our forefathers, they went through 400 years of slavery, just so. It was an punishment and an act of disobedience. So called black man, so called African. That you need to give all year. That you need to give all year. They tell all the Gentiles, and they believe that. And the pastors teach all of that, all the Gentiles. We from the seed of the curse of Ham. When we the Shamites. And they are the Gentiles. The people who you are given reverence to in Israel are the synagogue of Satan. They are not the biblical Jews. And your pastors are going across there and giving them money and financing them and saying we will get blessed because we bless them. If you want to bless the real Jews, go up until. Go up carnage. Go in the ghettos because we go through a type of curse that nobody else go through. Our people can't even come together. Look at it. The Chinese have their own organization. These singers have their own organization. The singers have their own organization. Should I say about anymore? What about the so-called black people? What about the car and the Arawax? They can't even come together. That's the curse upon our people. We are sleeping. People jump, they want to come out crisis, God, and can't even open the Bible and read who it is. That's why they're facing this condition. They're always in some fantasy, hypnosis, and some great illusion and darkness, what they really can't prove. Because you're talking against the Bible. The Son of God said, I'm the Son of the Father, and you saying He's God. Verse 68. And the Most High shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. Brothers and sisters, Egypt means place of servitude or bondage. At that time, brothers and sisters, it was called the land of Mizraim. My brothers and sisters, Egypt is a Greek word means of bondage. Because when the Greeks went across there, they saw that that place can only be built of hard bondage. So when they say Egypt is a place of bondage, there ain't no water from Israel to Egypt. The book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 2. I am the most high, thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. House of? Bondage. Continue, Continue brother. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Most High shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it again no more. And, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies for born men and born women, and no man shall buy you. Our forefathers were sold into cargo slave ships for born men and born women. And listen, Marcus Garvey, Bob Marley, nobody can redeem us. That's the word for buy. Buy means to redeem. 
Let me get verse 48. Look at the prettiest great brothers and sisters, the yoke of iron. There is no other people that this yoke of iron was placed on than our forefathers. Brothers and sisters, we see rare people. But we are the for lack of knowledge. We are the for lack of knowledge, my brothers and sisters. We follow all the foolishness of this world. And our history is right here. They won't give you that, brothers. And we come up for the men because the men is to lead and to direct. The men who see and understand. And the men who love to read. You need to read to get understand them. And I say the easiest thing to hide from a black man is to put in a book. Let's get to the yoke of iron. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore thou shalt serve thy enemies which the Mosai shall sin against thee in hunger, in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck, upon, upon thy neck, until he have destroyed thee. Brothers and sisters, go and research it. That's our forefathers. It was a sign upon our people forever. Everybody know that we went through slavery. They pack us like sardines. But I know in other churches, they don't study that. They must teach other that. Because they don't want it to wake up. All they feel that these things happen in our communities just so. Where are the Philly guns coming in from? All depending upon this minister of security. And we have course guards on every show on, 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 on every corner of the of, of China. Don't you know that they are selling the guns in our community to kill us? Don't you know that they are looking to the populators? So called black man? So called Caleb? Arawak? You are from the house of Israel. It's time for us to wake up. So call yourself Africans. That was named by European. The pan African is not rich African stop. Who he was before Africa? It's in the Bible. It's right there. It's the early time. But we understand our pastors teaching us, our so-called pastors in teaching us nothing. All they teaching us is illusions. And teaching us fallen angels doctrine. Teaching us prosperity doctrine. Teaching us Christ as God. Teaching us that we are Gentiles. Teaching us that the law is done away with. Just love. So here we're going on. That's why it's a great pastors now. Because it's not a law. That's why pastors see the old man wife. Because they have no law. That's why people can't be seen with animals. It have no law. Because I want to teach you the church. Just say the Lord and I will it. We are not grace. The Lord and I will it. My brother, let me get this in John chapter 14, verse 21. And they say they love the most high. They lie. They don't love him. They love Satan. Watch that. Satan being worshipped in these religions. Imagine people could see the Bible saying Christ is the Son of God and they're saying Christ is God. But they can't even come to the terms that Christ's name is not even Jesus. They have no Holy Spirit. They have a spirit, an unclean spirit. We in these last days that people still call upon Jesus. We in these last days that people still call upon Yahweh. Come on, man. We in the last days and we still call ourselves Gentiles. The book of St. John, chapter 14, verse 21. He that had my commandments and keep them, he it is that loveth me. Now here, what the Bible say? He that loves me will keep my commandments and he will be loved of my Father. And I will manifest myself unto him. Who is manifesting himself to your past? Who teaching the laws that I will with? Yeah. 
Blau, Jehovah, aka Satan. Come on, brothers and sisters. Let me get Hosea chapter 6, verse 4. We are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We are destroyed because we forsake this law. How can we keep the law of this land and we can't keep the law of the Mosai? You know what the law of the Mosai is? Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's house, thy neighbor's wife. Thou shalt keep my Sabbath holy and rest. Thou shalt not bow to no idols. Brothers and sisters, is that unrighteous? Is, is this law so unrighteous? What they are teaching us in these Christian institutions? Listen, we must come against Christianity. Because it's a lie. And it has people in bondage. And because of Christianity, the, the wise men that come into us, they will take all the glory for it. And the people who give us these doctrines is the same people who enslaved us. Do you think they will teach you who you are? Do you think that they will give you this wisdom? They will keep you in a doctrine to die like sheep for the slaughter. Second Timothy chapter 4 verse 2. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove. Rebuke. What? Rebuke. Exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Verse 3. For the time will come when they will not endure some doctrine. They will what? The time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. We are in this time. We are in the time where everybody's saying, just believe in God and we go find a way to the track to God. That's a lie. You find yourself to Satan. There's only one way to come to the Father. True, his son and keeping his commandments. His son come to fulfill, not to destroy this law. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. To turn unto fables. Did you understand? Fables. Christ is God. It don't matter. We are all spiritual Israelites. All the Gentiles are going to be populators and they are depopulating us. All the Gentiles is controlling our prime ministers because our prime ministers are puppets. Oh, sir, if only vote for these prime ministers, only vote for their own destruction. My brothers and sisters, children, children today have been colonized by the Europeans. And the Europeans is known as the, in the Bible as Edom. Am I saying all Caucasians are evil? No. I never say I never said that. Are we racial? No. But they are a stock of these Europeans who are looking to depopulate our people. Come on. Everything in the Bible. Those who don't believe in the Bible, some of them know that there are certain type of people who are looking to wipe us off. Where the food disease is coming from? Where well, you feel the so-called HIV come from? All well, you feel lies really as sexually transmitted disease. All well, you really believe that somebody will have HIV and they go and have sex with them and they will get it? No, brothers and sisters. No. My brothers and sisters, they ain't no thing called HIV. Come, come ask me. Let me tell all you. Let me teach all you. Let me teach all you. Teach all you. My brothers and sisters, the medications are killing you. The pussy being the AZT, that's your HIV. And they, they look upon your, t your terminating cells. And when your terminating cells is low, that's how they diagnose you and say you have HIV. You can have HIV in Trinidad and go to Colombia and don't have HIV. And go to France and have HIV. And go to Australia and don't have it. They are looking to depopulate us. They need no gun again. Your war 
is a pharmaceutical. The pharmacies is your battle. Your doctors is our modern day sorcerers. Because sorcery in the Bible means administering drugs. These synthetic drugs is what is killing our people. Come on now, we still live up to 1900. By the time 54 years he lived long, he dead. The medication brothers and sisters. Who they targeting? You, so-called black man. The cancer, what they telling all your big cancer campaign, everybody marching for cancer and all kind of foolishness. Don't you know that cancer is a thing that B17 efficiency? Don't you know you just need some pumpkin seeds and some melon seeds and this stuff and you get that B17 cancer done? Don't you know that the chemo pills and the chemotherapy is what is killing the people? Oh, I know the man of God didn't teach all of that. But teach on the crisis, God. They can teach on that mess. They can teach on all these Gentiles. But they can't teach on it. How they look to kill out. We fed up the foolishness. They are looking to kill you, black man, so called black man. They are looking to kill you, Hispanics, Arawaks, Amerindians. Brothers and sisters, when you see these planes flying in the air and you see the smoke from the aircraft staying there for a long while and you thinking that is the exhaust from the vehicle not knowing that that in the air is microdust. Microdust is what gives us these diseases also. Do, do, do you all know these things? Do you know that they are chemtrails and trailers to the populators? Oh, your pastor didn't teach you that. Teach you all, you teach you that. Minister, you have to all these things. Those who believe in Christ, for the, who say they believe in Christ and say Christ is God, can't teach you that. The Islamic community can't teach you these things. They know the most I choose. The children of Israel. That is the most side battle acts. Don't study when they tell you that we all are Gentiles, it don't matter who is the true Jews. But all of they take our identity. But when you wake up and realize who you are, well, yeah, we understand you are the Jews, but it don't matter no more. That's a lie. It matters. So part of this thing, brothers and sisters, is to wake up and realize who you are. Know who you are. Know who is controlling us out. No, who gave you these religions? They gave us these religions, brothers and sisters. Right now is the most high Sabbath. And everybody drinking and having fun and smoking and thing. Don't you know that Satan is the prince of this earth? Don't you know that Satan will do anything to do opposite to the most high? But everybody rested on a Sunday. I, 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 I don't go to work on a Sunday, you know. I had to go to church. Sunday is my day of rest. Sunday is my day of rest, you know. The Bible says, be a conform to this world. But be renewed in mind. Well, it doesn't matter about the Sabbath anymore. But the Bible says, keep my Sabbath day forever. The Bible says that in the law, in the new heaven and earth, there shall be new moons and Sabbaths and feast days. But your pastors is telling you, feast days and away with it. Sabbath and away with it. But let's keep Christmas and worship Satan. Let's keep Easter, worship Satan. Hey, let's reverence, let's reverence the God of heaven, the, 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 the Queen of heaven, so-called Mother's Day. Because when you keep in Mother's Day and think you represent your mother, you are reversing St. Ramesses. You are reversing Asterot. When you think you keep in Christmas, and yeah, Christmas is about Christ. First of all, Christ is born in winter. The Bible proves that. Secondly, the Bible is talking against Christmas. Because these are all ancient Babylonian practices. The pagans gave us these things. We came here as slaves. They need to give you all these things to keep you in servitude, to keep you in this brainwashing and this hypnosis. Because as long as you awaken spiritually, you are a threat to them.
Brothers and sisters, there's a real war against us, and we don't understand this. We just looking upon crime. Yeah, crime is horrible. But this construct, this government, need crime to go on. It's a money making business. Don't vote. When you vote, you agree with everything that the Europeans tell your prime ministers to do. These, listen, these Europeans do business about us. Not all of them, the Amalekites. Let me get the book of um, Exodus chapter 17, verse 14. Let me prove that the most are against these people. I don't want anybody to say I'm racist. We're not racist. But we must point to the enemy. It's in the Bible. But I know that you never heard this before. Because when you go to church, it's about the sweet word of God. The most I show us what will befall our people and what we have to do. He shows us what we have to do. Look at our people falling from cancer, so called HIV, all kind of man made diseases. Ebola was created and that's promoting it through the media and have your panic in Ebola, Ebola. Oh, they must have come across some. What, the, the, <laughs> what was it? The, the, the disease with the muscle What they created again? Zika. So it has Zika somewhere in South, um, um, South Africa, and the muscle fly across here. So we're going to be careful. I know muscle is like to live about, two day, about a day or two, not even more than two days. But it is, the muscle leave South Africa and fly across the Zika. And, and he, North America too. South America. I hear what it is due to, right? Come and get vaccinated yeah. to prevent the Zika flu. Not knowing that the vaccination is going to kill you. The vaccination and mercury, mercury, excuse me, mercury, formaldehyde, aluminum. When they put these things in their blood, they don't go no way. Listen, you stand up by the chance if it's, if it's drink some mercury, okay, might pass it out. You yes, stand chance when I'm okay in your blood. That's why they put it on our children. That's why our children have asthma, Alzheimer's, and autism. That's why we have these things. So your minister of health will never teach you these things. Where we get in more beds, we get in more ambulance, we try to get a hold on these things. Brothers and sisters, they are sorcerers. Yeah. Well, right. Well, this is what we are doing. Because we could say love, love, love the humanity, and this is going to be depopulating you. Do you think it's right that people say we're depopulating us? Shouldn't we talk about that? Shouldn't you know who is looking to kill you? He put it there for us, brother. I understand what he says. I curse upon our people. Yeah. Yes, I understand. Yes. How did brothers kill one another? Yeah, we, we were tear. We were tear. Yes, but we need wisdom. We need wisdom. Don't you know that the guns, where you feel the guns coming from? You think them boys are making them guns? Where do you think the guns coming from? He's a wise man. He want to know about love, right? We will get there. We will get there. Because you always hear more the love story. Don't go. Where the guns coming from? Where the marijuana coming from? Don't you know that we have coast guards on every corner of China? Yeah, I love. I love. L let me show you what is love. Let me get your St. John 14 there, 21. Let me hear about love before you go. Let me hear about love. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 3. For this is for this is the love of the Most High, that we keep his commandments. What? That we keep his commandments. Start from the top. This brother said, what about love? What about love? Where, where we going to put it after this stop? Don't interrupt my lesson. I am expounding here. For those here who don't understand.
understand? Right? Right? From the top of the brother. The book of First John, chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of the Most High, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. For whatsoever is born of the Most High overcometh the world. And, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. So we must have faith and keep that commandment. Yes, but this is the love of the Most High. Keep His commandments. You heard it? Brother, read it again for me, please. The book of First John, chapter 5, verse 2. By this we know that we love the children of the Most High. When we love the Most High and keep His commandments, His Keep his commandments, for this is the love of the Mosai, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. Right. So, brothers and sisters. But I, yeah. Yes, brother. I want to respect you, brother, yes. Yeah. Yeah, we are not afraid to be the other groups in the sea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we are the biblical Jews, we know that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The chosen people, yes, of the most high, yeah. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, for the Father. Mm. The Father. Yeah, we're from the Garden of Christ Church. We're not a Philippine, no, that is a light group. Right. We ask him, sir. We ask him. Yes, brother. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah, brother. Yeah, talk, brother. Nice. Right. Mm. Yeah, brother. You follow the whole Bible. You follow the Old Testament and the New Testament. Because he said here, I believe, but I mean, the scripture says, he never said to follow the new and live the old. Because when Christ was on the earth, right, brother? Who Christ was reading out of the Old Testament? The New Testament was coming into perfection for us to understand. So we cannot be partial with the scriptures. That is what Christianity is doing. And that way they have no knowledge. Now, I want to say something, right? Now, everybody talk about love, right? Now, people feel... Listen, brother, let me do my work, please, now, I, brother. Right, let, 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 yeah, give me. Yeah. No, I, have to, I want to talk something. Right, brothers and sisters. All right, all right, brother. You know, you know, tell my brother, you, you respect me. You, right. I'm not talking to you. I'm speaking in general. People listening. If you turn around. But, yeah, but you know, I know answer you. You, you, you. you know, walk back. So I'm looking to talk to the people here. Please, brother. Please, let me do my thing. Yes, step off. We talking now? We talking? I lay the dialogue. All right, all right. Let, 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 let me go back with you, right? I'll go back with you. Our belief, yes. Mm -hmm. The truth. If we don't believe it, we know. If we don't believe, we know. We know. We know. Yeah. But I can say someone. Uh, but listen, I have people else here and I want to say something, right, brother? No, you will sidetrack my lesson. Brother, please. Please, brother. Brother, please. You come to me and you're, you're humble inside with me. And I'm humble with you. Please. I'm speaking to everybody here who are wrong here. Any question you want to get asked me? Who I want to get at? Listen, brothers and sisters, right? I want to say something, right? Not towards my brother here. When we expose the lies and we expose who are looking to kill us, everybody will say, so what about love? I love you and I'm showing you who is going to kill you. Christ show us who is going to wipe us out. When Christ was walking the earth, he wasn't just 
come and walk my hand, let's kumbaya. He was showing you the powers that be and what will be for our people. Christ was a prophet. Christ prophesied what will happen. Christ didn't prophesied nice things. He prophesied the, dis the destruction of Jerusalem. He prophesied all these things. So don't think that when we are exposing the lies that we don't love, do not affiliate us with the other Israelite groups. My brother, I speak in general here. And say, yeah, no. Why? Ask me again. I don't mind it. I really hold respect. All right. Who? You know that? <laughs> you want that? I love you, man. I love you. Where you want to know better? All right, all right. Where you want to know better? Mm. But you're on camera right now, so be certain of what you're doing. Right. But what I'm saying, because you tell me that's now there, right? That I come out there preaching on love, but you didn't know that somebody asked me why not speaking about love. And you said, I come out there to preach about love. Love is showing people the truth. But brother, you say you're not coming against me. You say you're not problem with me. You said the respect, what we believe in, I tell you, we know what we say and we don't believe. We saw it as a rock, we know, and we can prove it. We can prove everything. Hmm? Yes. Ah. We don't believe, we know. We know the Messiah walked this suit. We know that we are the biblical Jews. I, I can't tell you this, but I know. Be because he's a distraction. Yes, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Right. Yeah, brother. Yeah, brother. Yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah, brother. Yeah, big. No reason to tell you. All right. You might get a revelation to the two verse now. These are my ways. These are our ways. This is what the scripture says. The book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. No, that is our people. I know thy works, thy tribulation, thy poverty, because we're at the bottom right now. we serving. Listen, we people don't really own nothing these days. We own a little small business and thing. The Gentiles have everything. True. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Synagogue of but at the synagogue of Satan. Let me give chapter 3 verse 9. They are the synagogue of Satan. They stole our identity and told us that we are the Gentiles. And they are passing on this doctrine in the Christian churches. This is what you're supposed to know. This is the history here. When we go to school and we were small, and it's showing us about social studies, Christopher Columbus come and discover, rediscover Trinidad. Eh? No, the, well, that is part of the lies. <laughs> The book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I, I have loved thee. So, these people who are lying and saying they're the Jews. When the Messiah come, they will have to worship us once we keep his commandments and be a light. We have to get purified. That's why we are white. The other groups in them who you see the game, you know that thing? We have nothing to do with them. Yeah, of course. No, you talk to me. You wanna ask a question? Everybody here, you are Alright. All right. Big man thing. You know what I'm telling you, that. Big man thing. I respect you. Your brother's a son of your side. Respect all you. Respect people. Hey, brother, brother, you're going. Get a man a hand, order for me, please. Don't go in the way, you know. Get a man a hand, order for me, please. Get a hand up. But I know him as he come from work and all kind of thing. My name is Raka. His name is Aram. On the hand out, he will see it. Call us, brother. And we will make it our duty to meet him to resume what's here. You know what? All right. And you know what they say? The easiest thing to hide from a black man is put in a book. You know what they said? The easiest thing to hide from a black man is to put in a book. I. I 
Right? Let me get back to our true history now. Let me get Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. You have it? Oh. So watch your brothers and sisters. They tell us we are Gentiles, right? They say we are Gentiles. But it's compared and say we are the Gentiles. I know it's something foreign to you all that you know even in school, so much knowledge out here. But how come nobody really showing us who we are? We just reach African stuff. Don't you know, brothers and sisters, that Africa was a middle passage with where we are? Don't you want know, brothers and sisters, that we are the holy people from the house of Israel? Do you think that slavery was just a normal thing that happened for 400 and something years? Raping our women, enslaving our children? Don't you know that it's in the Bible? The day all the time. But again, the lies in Christianity. So that's why when we come out here, we talk against Christianity because people don't want to come into the Bible and into the truth because they feel that Christ, the Christians follow the Bible. Christians don't follow the Bible. Christians follow their doctrine. And it's time for us to come into the truth. It's time for us to be obedient. It's time for us to humble ourselves. Let's read the scripture, not my words. Let's read it. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Most High, thy power, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Most High, thy power, will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Above? Above all nations of the earth. So the Most High is saying to, Moses is saying to the people, to the Most High show them, you keep my commandments, I will put you above all nations on the face of the earth. Didn't you know, brothers and sisters, that all the nations of the earth used to come to, wisdom, to, to Solomon for wisdom and understanding? Don't you know that when the people of the book was keeping the commandments that David destroyed the nations and we went into the promised land, even in the time of Moses, when we had the Ark of the Covenant, so we was on top. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou shalt not hearken unto the voice of the Most High thy power, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now these curses will come and overtake us. And this is exactly what is happening in our communities nowadays. That is why we're talking about, I don't understand, a man is now saying, I don't understand how a man could be killing a man for a gold chain. That's part of the curse in the Bible. It's in the Bible. So, let's get to verse 68. So, the most I say, listen, or they keep my commandments, I choose all you. Brothers and sisters, the most I establish a covenant of our father Abraham, an everlasting covenant that cannot be broken. Everlasting means forever. But I know the Christian churches and Islam teaching us that don't matter. It matters to the most high. It's forever. When he established a new heaven on earth, it will be for the children of Israel and the Gentiles. But the Israelites will govern and rule. Wood and stone. You, you, you praying, but you ain't praying right. You say you game, but you ain't playing right. You push your well, father never heard of. That's why we serve them and they don't serve us. You praying, but you ain't praying right. They say the game, but you ain't playing right. Wood and stone ain't saving my life. Cause my power is greater than your God. Your God is this weak. The higher is the 